That was it was a fantastic experience because many students working they were working day and night they stayed in uh, isro night because the uh, testing no the more when we do testing in environmental testing we can't break we had to continuously do for say two days continuously so the students they came in batches they stayed they were doing the all the test they in fact they used to come and analyze problem some. Some good, some people know they extra interest. They did very good. Yeah. It was um, uh, very supportive, and then um, the, it's, it was given. I was given total freedom to do whatever that is required for the to build the power system. And then uh, there were enough students, and then even <coughs> there were uh, consortium students also. They were all, you know, all our uh, uh, BTEC people. They were all cream of the. It was very easy for me. Uh, and uh, then to communicate with them and then work with them. And then they were doing a very good job. So whatever I done before that, they will finish. We have come across a lot of uh, foreign universities with the help of NASA coming up with a lot of uh, small satellite programs. And it was a boom in that 2011-2012, uh, uh, like we had seen now uh, Florida University launching a satellite and the Naval Postgraduate School launching a satellite. So this gave us why not Indian universities and even then Indian universities, one or two universities had already started such activities. So that actually made up uh, PA students to take up this project and even faculty to help them work in this project. Mainly to involve the student community and uh, uh, teach them what we learned in this show. So uh, many batches of students, they did number of projects. Some of them did as a main project, uh, which uh, included credit. Some did uh, off credit, that is uh, extracurricular. So like that, many batches, uh, they did number of projects in all the areas. So we were uh, uh, four or five people in different, different areas. So each one assigned a part of that uh, to the group of students. So students, uh, sometimes they used to come on the vacation. In the early stages, even the students from the other colleges, were supposed to have been built by a team of uh, five institutes. So even other institute students, they used to come and stay in the vacation and took part in the program. One sum of this satellite is, this satellite is a sun synchronous satellite. So it will map the earth in different times. What we designed this satellite, morning around 10 o'clock, we will have a one pass in the satellite. So you, around that time, you can take a picture of India, particular part of India, and then see as a remote sensing what kind of picture. Now, if you analyze this data, you can find out the different layer vegetation, land, or water, and that such kind of thing. It's very amazing. In this aspect, to see the investors learning and showing a lot of interest to our scientists. That's what we So, that gave us the success.
your experience working for Kaisa? Yeah, it was basically a very wonderful experience. I have been working under the, I'm working in satellite space domain from the past two years. I was working under Samshiwara sir, and I was in the domain of RF RF system, and I was mainly involved in satellite tracking. It was great working with our Kaisa. Uh, we got an opportunity to visit to ISAC, uh, ISAC Bangu. Uh, we were part of the test uh, So there was, there was a lot of practical exposure here and uh, I could enhance my capabilities. Uh, even though I am from mechanical and I worked on my structures and thermal parts, uh, I had the overall idea of the satellite which has helped me a lot. Helped me understand the interdisciplinary connections of in, uh, engineering and engineering phase. Yeah, it was good. Uh... It started off with me not knowing anything in the subject. I just wanted to do something in the summer of my second year. And I just thought I'd try something with it. It was an exceptional uh, experience. Uh, and we, get to, we got to interact with some of the best miners in India. PISAC gave us, I mean, it's great a scope to understand what is the space size and uh, what are the, how are the ISRO does these operations and uh, all. I really thank Guri for providing this platform. Uh, of our students uh, you know, uh, working with the uh, PISAC and uh, it's really an amazing experience and uh, uh, like I learned a lot of lessons from this so this is really uh, an awesome experience. Uh, my experience working with PISAC was uh, really unique and uh, I got to uh, I wanted to work with PISAC in my second year. I had a very great experience before joining Korea I knew nothing about PISAC or I had very straight fear also so later on after joining, experiencing with existing persons, so I came up my interest, uh, came up with my interest. The experience was amazing and from the day one till now, it's always been a learning adventure, if you can call it. Um, so I was learning from scratch till the end, after the launch, and again maintaining the space for till now, I mean, still we are connected to like that.